15 years ago, Yorkshire Water were looking for a way of diverting their resources into some other type of business and they thought of one problem they had to solve which was how to get rid of sewage sludge. And they thought we can't put that on food crops but we could put that on trees and they developed the idea of building a power station powered by trees. A few years later they went bankrupt and us growers of the trees were left with a situation of what do we do with all these trees that we've grown and no home for them. So we formed a farmers cooperative, just all the people who grew willows got together and we said we'll have to try and harvest them and sell them for some purpose and we realised that if you burn them they're a very efficient source of fuel and this was in the 90s and the 2000s, oil prices were starting to rise and now we're in the situation where we grow them, quite a lot of growers, we're the biggest group in England, um, grow all over the country quite often in land that's not particularly good, ex-gravel pits, coal mines, things like that, as well as just normal arable land, but very often marginal land. And we grow it mainly for power stations. The biggest power station in Europe is Drax, which is gradually converting to biomass fuel, and we're one of their main suppliers. We don't chop the tree down, we just coppice it. So we never really lose the carbon. We capture it in the growth, but we never stop it growing. We don't have to replant another tree. We have the same tree, it spouts out lots more, and that's what they all do. Um, and they get to be, I don't know what that is, 20 foot high within three years. As we, as we get more and more reluctant to use fossil fuels, we don't really want to burn coal. We're shutting down our coal-fired power stations. We're not very keen on burning oil. It's becoming prohibitively expensive. Gas is becoming much more expensive. It seems sensible to move more to renewables. Renewables like solar and ground source heat pumps and biomass and wind are the, probably the way of the future because eventually we've got to produce f fuels that can power our economy without depleting natural resources and this is one that doesn't deplete natural resources it's self-sustaining, it's a very sustainable fuel for the future. Very popular with dogs too. 